I'm going to now down some new functionality of our sheet metal tool. So I'm going to open up this base component here. I'm going to come in and create a new sketch. create a new arc. So once I have a, a line created, I want to come out with my, my flange tool. Excuse me, my contour flange tool. go back into my sketch real quickly here. And select my different edges. So something I want you to notice here is that some new glyphs appear when I create my contour flange. Um, you can see right now they're a yellow color. I can come in now and make some changes to this. One change I might want to make is maybe the thickness of my gap. Um, standard or default is the thickness of the material. Maybe I want to change that to uh, a little much. A little bit smaller. I also have some relief changes that are, uh, I'm able to change right now. Something that's new for 2009 is this arc weld relief. To see now I make that change, the glyph turns to green, acknowledging that there are some changes made to that relief. Make a change to this one as well. So once that is completed, I'm just going to flatten this out. Give you an idea of the new arc weld relief as a nice flat cut and uh, the radius to the, um, the contour flange here. Now this is just in a single part assembly. I'm going to go back into that floor polish I had opened earlier. I'm just going to concentrate on the back portion of the machine for now. So there is a sketch I had inserted a little bit earlier. I just want to open this up. So this is a profile for a bracket that I'm going to use to melt some of those canisters on the back of the machine. I'm going to make this a little bit taller here. Something I want you to realize or recognize that's new for the 2009 is previously I only had the capability of doing flipping my different sides of my sketch to create my profile. What's new for 2009, I have the capability to come in and do a mid-plane for this feature. Something else that's new, with my flange tool, I'm able to come in, create a flange around the inside top of this bracket. Now previously, I didn't recognize that 
these lines were connected because of the radius. So what I just did in one step will have taken probably about seven different steps. I'd have to come in and create each one individually. And I would also have to come in and make my uh, corner seams to make minor cuts. I'm just going to change these, make them maybe a little bit smaller. And finish up the part. Flatten this out just so you can see all the minor cuts look here. Now I'm going to go back into my assembly. So now that I'm in my assembly and I've created this sheet metal bracket, I want to attach one of these canisters to this new bracket I've created. So previously, um, you know, I didn't have the option of actually creating um, a bolted connection utilize, utilizing the actual sheet metal components. They call them PEM fasteners or clinch nuts. So I'm just going to come in here and select my face and my holes. And also my termination here. And you can see that I recognize that hole. I can come into my fasteners. Now, I know if uh, everybody has seen this bolted connection before, but the bolted, bolted connection tool is utilizing the content center that's within the inventor. So it's going, it's going to bring up a list of all my different options for bolts and washers and nuts and pen fasteners. Also, have an option to filter through different standards. You can see all the different options I have available to me. Select my fastener. I also have an option to come in with a, a washer if I'd like. And then again, what I said, what's new for the 2009 is I have this sheet metal nuts. And these are my PEM fasteners. So this is just going to create those different components for me. I'm going to turn off the visibility of some of these other components just to make it a little easier to see. And there we have our new sheet metal PEMFASTER component.